Welcome to Trains 21. In addition to this YouTube channel, you can also find us online at trains21.org and trains21.com. When it comes to railroading, northeastern Pennsylvania is an area that's rich in opportunity. And whether it's locomotives or pictorial settings, northeastern Pennsylvania is the place for trains. But times, they are a-changing. I'm Railfan AC, and you're watching Trains in the 21st Century. Cockeyed camera work is what you get when you're running to catch a train that you didn't know was coming. We're in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania on the ex-Pennsylvania Railroad Buffalo Line and we're scrambling to record a black thoroughbred SD40-2 number 3374 leading this Hallbaker Stone Train. Railroading in the Northeast as well as in Northeastern Pennsylvania is undergoing some of the biggest changes since the Conrail Consolidation of 1976, the Canadian Pacific takeover of the DH in 1991, the consolidated breakup of 1999, and the Canadian Pacific abandonment in 2015. Having watched the rise and fall of two major railroads in the area, it's hard to think that anything could top the rail-related events of the past 45 years. And it's then that I'm reminded of that old adage, never say never. Anola to Binghamton, New York train 14R was abolished back in the summer and has now been replaced by the Roanoke, Virginia to Binghamton, New York train 12Z. The 14R sister train 11Z is now a Binghamton to Roanoke train giving northeastern Pennsylvania a consecutively matched pair of through trains across the north-south Mason-Dixon line. Both trains work Shenandoah, Virginia, Vardo Yard in Hagerstown, Maryland, C.P. Stoney, which is the east side of the famous Rockville Bridge, and C.P. Case in Sunbury. Neither trains actually enter Enola anymore, instead swapping their blocks of cars at Stoney with the Enola switching crews.
Did you notice that white EMP container? An extremely rare sight in 2020. This is in stark contrast to 15 years ago when white EMP containers were the norm and green was the exception. Business must be good for the company. So much so that used containers from Hub Group and Pacer are now just as common on NS Intermodals as are the greens. The train that we're watching is the K82, one of three local switching crews out of Taylor Yard. It's heading north to Binghamton, New York at around 10 p.m. on August 18, 2020. This used to be a seven-day-a-week run for the K82 and its extra train counterpart, the K8N. But like all railroading in the area, things are different today. K82 is now primarily a daily evening switcher making the Binghamton, New York turn only once or twice a week. All other days, the move is made by the H97 train out of Binghamton. Seeing the K82 move out of Taylor gives us a chance to see some of the commerce that feeds the four railroads that Taylor Yard serves. The intermodals are on their way to the 67th Street Yard in Chicago. In Binghamton, New York, the containers will probably be tacked onto a westbound intermodal like the 206 out of Mechanicville, New York, or the 23K out of Ayer, Massachusetts. That 8-axle flat car came off of the Delaware Lackawanna and had carried in something very special to the railroad. 1940-built Alco HH660, the DLW number 409, returned to its home rails in Scranton on Wednesday, August 12, 2020. The Genesee Valley Transportation Company bought the rare high-hood Alco to restore and preserve at its DL base here in Scranton. The 409 was transported on the flat car instead of being towed in because the truck under the cab has friction bearings. This truck carries a patent from Canada that dates back to 1925. The paint on the front number board on the engineer side of the engine is peeling off to reveal its Erie Lackawanna number 324. The DL's Taylor Interchange train BR1 slash DL3 retrieved the 409 from Taylor Yard, which you may remember is a former Delaware Lackawanna and Western property itself. It was brought back to Steamtown and run over the Diamond Branch and the Strawberry Hill connecting track to the ex dnh main line where the Alco doc himself, Don Colangelo, brought it back to the Breck Street shops where a rigging company unloaded the local from the flat car. It's now at the new Von Storch Diesel shop in North Scranton.
If you like this video, then please hit the like button. If you dislike this video, you can hit the dislike button. And if you'd like to support this channel, there are links in the description box and in the pinned comment to our PayPal and other relevant contacts. But if you can't support with money, never fear. Likes, comments, and shares are always free. For Trains 21, call me AC.